All right, we're gonna model the head now, and we're gonna start with the face, of course. For that, we need to slap a mesh plane on this character here. So I'll just hit mesh plane there. Let's see, I might have hit it twice. Yeah, there's two of them. So let's just um, delete that. So I got my mesh plane here. We need to rotate it. So I'll just hold J and make sure it's rotated 90 degrees like so. Just double check, everything's 90 degrees. Cool. We'll, we'll drop down the subdivisions down to two. Uh, we'll, we'll start with a simple mesh plane. And we need to bring it up. Like so. Somewhere there. Let's just increase it a bit. Oopsie. Alright. Alright, sweet. Uh, we're going to work with only half of the face. So let's just delete the other half. Bring that down. Uh, let's just change this to wool. I'll say that's about there. This should be about here, I think. Right, and drop everything down. Let's just say this should be around here. All right, and we're going to work on these, this other side here. Let's just bring everyone forward. These guys, they, uh, the ones on the side, they kind of, they should envelope our character there, um, here, and here. And let's just push this guy a bit. Um, I'll say this one goes here. This one should be about there. It's too much. Let's just drop it down there. All right, right about there. Very rough. Nothing too fancy. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can manage. I'll just uh, use this one as a guide. And I'll say that's kind of okay for our purpose here. All right, first part done. The next part is we're going to uh, do sockets for the eyes and the mouth. Let's do the eyes first. So with the eyes, we're going to control E and extrude. I'm going to use uh, my scale here. So I'll just hit that. Uh, um, hit one of the scale boxes and use the center one to bring it in. All right. That's looking not too bad. All we need to do now is kind of move things around a bit. Uh, very rough and you can you can be very fast with this right and let's do the same with the sides here bring that in maybe that one is, should be a bit there and All right that's pretty much done let's just push this guy a bit more sweet All right let's uh, focus on this guy now so we're going to do a socket down here. So I'll hit Ctrl E, which is my X root again, and bring it in. Sweet. Um, it is a socket, so by right should be a hole. So I'm, I'm just going to select that and delete. This should be a hole as well, select that and delete. Uh, but you know, how do you connect between the one side and the other? Um, basically, I'm going to delete that guy first. Let's go to vertex and we're gonna snap down to the axis here. So I hold my X, enable that, hold my X, middle mouse button will jump there. Same thing, middle mouse button will jump there. Um, before I go any further, let's just move this one forward. Um, that should be a bit low. Maybe there. This one should be here. I'll, I'll, I'll just you know focus on that one. Right, and this one should be there. That guy should be a bit here. Let's just look at this. That should be a bit forward. Down here, this one down there. Right. All right, it's not too bad. I'll just bring this bit down here, maybe. All right. So that's the general idea. Try to get this one going on. Then we can uh, start to do the next part. So I'm going to keep on going here. 
go to object mode before we go any further let's just duplicate it so that we can see uh, how it looks like on the other side so I'll go to my edit uh, duplicate special options box let's just reset that all right I'm gonna make a instance of this so you'll copy and whatever changes will be reflected on the this side uh, and I'll say this is negative one because we're scaling in X that's a box for X X Y Z so we're doing the scale uh, in the X this is positive that should be negative so that's why I'm putting it there negative one hit apply and you have a copy on the other side close that um, select any vertices and see if it updates properly means that you're okay all right this is looking quite excellent um, maybe that guy should sit up here and that should be there all right all right um, we're gonna focus on uh, one thing at a time so the f and certainly we're gonna be adding more edges as we go along so the first one that I want to do is kind of you know um, that whenever you see something like you know this this chin here that needs definition that and you know that one could perhaps sit there should be a point sitting there that means you need an edge loop that kind of connects that way so I'll use my cut tool here and with while holding control this will actually form an edge loop all across there so I'll hit that one so it's going to create an edge loop now what you need to do is kind of reshape things a bit uh, kind of six there maybe we need another one there and we'll just say this one uh, we'll just slide the edge a bit further like so all right um, let's see if I can actually make it sit here no, let's just leave it there we'll add another one to kind of define these points here so I'll hit my control tool again and do something like that uh, the edges need to be slided in so I'm going to select all three uh, you'll notice that sometimes I use shortcut so I have my slide edge um, having the shortcut of L and I have insert edge loop with the shortcut of I um, basically that will happen under Windows uh, settings preferences hotkey editor so you can certainly edit all this if you want a faster workflow for instance I'm going to I set myself with my own hotkeys I kind of uh, duplicate the default one I have mine I rename it uh, like that and I'll choose menu items and basically just scroll down and find what you need for instance we were looking at slide edge and insert edge loop so you can set uh, something here In my case I have that set as L for slide edge set edge loop as I and save and close if you're done so I might select an edge like that hit L I get my slide edge so if you see me uh, doing that that basically means uh, that I have that going on all right so I'll bring that down um, and let's just say um, you kind of you know sit here maybe that guy could be here all right uh, now let's just push it forward that looks a bit funny it's gonna be the nose part I'll create another one here down here all right um, and that guy kind of go there we'll define that let's just make it match that way and I'll do that it's okay I'll fix it accordingly later um, all right that's not too bad all right we need definition here because you see that the eyes is a bit curvy in places and that's not looking very good so for that we're going to use our insert edge loop tool so we're going to start adding here here and here and here right and we'll go to vertex mode and let's just shape this eye a bit that will be the corner, that will be the corner maybe I'll, I'll just make everyone squash down so it's nice and flat 
sorry, squash it down. Maybe everyone should be squashed down together. I'll just keep it. Let's just say it should be here. And I'll deal with that corner using a different one. So that's nice and flat. Um, let's just turn it into a nice socket, like so. Make things kind of even. Alright. That should be there. Alright, sweet. Let's just make it nicely envelope that part. Um, this one, like I mentioned, that could be this part here. So now I'm working on this part uh, of the of the nose. Um, that one could be a bit higher, perhaps. So let's just define this better. It's there, go there a bit. All right, not too bad. Um, shape it a bit, just so we know what's uh, you know what belongs to what. Alright, it's not too bad. Yep, certainly, certainly could could work. Alright, we'll just leave it there. That's not too bad. Uh, we got three here, three above. We need perhaps a total of um, seven, but um, uh, maybe not yet. So let's just kind of fix this a bit. Something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> that will work. Right, we're gonna extrude the nose now. So I'm gonna select uh, this face, that's the nose part, and let's just do that. So I'm gonna control E, I'll use my uh, move tool and just push it in front. You can perhaps scale it down a bit more, make the nose a bit pointier. And now we need to move these vertices around uh, to shape the nose better. Maybe that one belongs up there. Right? Oh, that looks funny. Can't see it from here. But that looks funny there. Right? So what do we do? Let's just, let me just show you. We're getting that now. Right, it's like it knows that it's been split open. So let's just delete that and go so that that vertex, both of them needs to be snapped in the middle. So I select both of them, hold X, middle mouse button, and it'll snap there. Sweet. All right. Okay, we're certainly getting a loop kind of going on here. Let's just review everything uh, and we'll continue in the next video.